Hey, good morning, everybody. I am back. I am back from my Washington, D.C. trip. That's where I was last week. For those of you who are celebrating Easter today, I want to wish you a happy Easter. So uh, let's go over everything that has happened. Of course, it, it was everything that I have forecast, a very strong sell-off in the dollar stock market. The great unwinding is underway. I'll just say briefly, with respect to this morning's little pop-up, little rally in the stock market, I will tell you right now that is not going to last. Uh, by the way, before I continue, let me just mention that today, as always, I will be working on the new issue of MMT Trader that will be out later. If you want to get that issue, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for the 30-day free trial. You will get the issue. In the meantime, you could download all the back issues, okay? So uh, the bounce in the stock market this morning, uh, it's going to be another fake out. As we have seen, the market uh, peaked back in mid-March, uh, and it will continue to trend lower. The economy is slowing down very significantly. The Atlanta Fed's GDP now forecasting gauge is showing a 0.49 GDP for the first quarter. Mm -hmm. And we don't have all the data in yet. We still have uh, to get all the data for March. That could very well be zero. It could very well be negative. We saw last Friday negative retail sales for the second month in a row. You got to go all the way back to January, February of 2015 to see two consecutive negative months in a row. Uh, and plus, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, as I have been mentioning. There are some really, really interesting points that I make in the report this week. Uh, many of you already know this. If you are on the MMT Trader subscriber list, I sent out an email uh, last night with respect to uh, the whole bank credit situation. I talked about what happened in uh, the currency market. And some of you remember when, the, I remember back in December, when uh, the Fed raised rates, you're like, oh, the dollar's going up. Rates are bullish. Uh, higher rates are bullish for the dollar. You bought dollar yen up to 118. Where is it now? 108. Come on, 108. All right, gold hit. Uh, by the way, yesterday, last night, gold uh, came all the way back to the level where my average position is. So no loss on that. Uh, a little bit lower than that this morning, but that's okay. Okay, because gold has a lot more upside to it. And I explained the reason why. Actually, I explained it last night in, in an email, but I explained the re I will explain the reason why in the MMT Trader Report that goes out later today. So everything that I have spoken about, some of you might be wondering about bonds, what is going on there. Again, the Fed is not changing its stance on monetary policy. So the upside is really limited for bonds. The downside in yields is really limited. I think you probably saw the bottom here at 220 on the 10 years in terms of the yield. Uh, you know, 126 ish on the bond future. You need to have the Fed say, okay, we're going to start cutting rates for a real rally in the bond market to ensue. Uh, but the big news here is I think the dollar, I think gold, absolutely right. And this uh, great unwinding, which I called back in mid-March. And by the way, the fact that it doesn't look like it's really want, that it really wants to go down, that's even more bearish. I mean, this is the opposite of climbing the wall of worry. This is kind of descending down into the basement. Uh, we're going to start to see as these economic reports come available, people start to see there's been no policy momentum whatsoever, the whole thing. Anyway, it's going to be in the report. I don't want to take up a lot of time. I am back from my Washington, D.C. trip. It was very nice. I had a great time. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.